take time, it. I would do what I call a cold descent. My burn is totally switched off, and I just sink straight down about 15 to 2,000 feet per minute, and it's spiraling quite long. So I, uh, I literally lost him visually because my balloon would be spiraling and swinging and pendulum all the way down. It's very hard to find. I lost him against the background. We don't know where he is at the moment. Are you confident all as well? Yes, I saw him pulling out and stabilizing. And um, he had a good few bit of haste come there. So, but uh, uh, the risk moment here really is the actual pull out, the high speed pull out to the top. Once he's stable, there's very little difference flying that glider, high altitude versus low altitude. Although the balloonist is confident, concern grows for the missing Rory. Then his glider is found in a farm field at Royden near Dis. A press camera on board is smashed, our own camera remains intact. The ordeal's over, but for Rory, the flight is one he'll never forget. It was terrifying. It was really quite scary. Um, from the launch when the glider went inverted, because the glider literally went upside down, to having to go through cloud, it was all pretty bad. And running out, coming close to running out of oxygen and things like that, it was quite nerve-wracking, the whole thing. What was it like when you were cut free? It was very radical. The glider already was spinning wildly on the end of the cable because of um, the descent of the balloon. And then when, he, when I was released, it fell away violently, vertically and to one side, and then flipped over onto its back uh, and then pulled down. Did you pass out at all? No, I certainly felt very nauseous uh, halfway down. I was getting very worried that I was about to get an attack of the bends or something like that. I uh, started getting spots in front of my eyes, but uh, kept going. How were you able to control it? No problem. The, the only problem with control was as a result of the TV and press cameras I was carrying. Um, they made the glider a bit unstable, uh, and certainly with the extra weight on, on the extremes of the glider, I didn't want to pull, to come down too quickly, pull too many Gs, because I uh, didn't know what effect the cameras would have. And what about the landing? The yeah, landing was good. I mean... I, I, the landing was absolutely great. I mean, I was absolutely exhausted. Uh, it was an absolute delight to be approaching ground again. And uh, I decided that what I'd have to do was land as close to the road as I could, because I was literally exhausted, uh, and, and just stagger to the road and try and get a lift off somebody, which is exactly what I did. Well, it's celebrations now, but has it been a nightmare? Yes, it's been an uphill struggle like you wouldn't believe. But there are compensations. That's the bit I like best. <laughs> the attempt landed safely from 36,000 feet. His hang glider was launched from a hot air balloon over Hethel, near Norwich, early today, and landed in a field near Dis. The previous record was by McCarthy, 32,000 feet, set...